Hello again, everybody. It's Brian Alley Walsh, NewOrleans.com. It's Wednesday afternoon. After the Saints have concluded game preparations for their first ever Thanksgiving Day appearance against the Dallas Cowboys at Cowboys Stadium. Kickoff is 315 on Fox 8 locally. Uh, the Saints had a brief walkthrough this morning at their facility and then boarded a chartered flight for the Big D where they'll spend the night quartered in uh, Fort Worth and then on to the game tomorrow morning. Uh, from an injury standpoint they had to file their report with the league today and uh, there are two players out running backs Liddell Betts and Pierre Thomas. No surprise there with Thomas, of course. Four players are questionable. Uh, free safety Malcolm Jenkins, free safety Darren Sharper, running back Reggie Bush, and tight end Jeremy Shockey. I think of those four, I think Bush and Jenkins have the best chance of playing. I don't believe Sharper will play. I don't believe uh, Shockey will play. With regards to Reggie Bush, again, he holds out hope that he's going to be given clearance uh, by Coach Sean Payton to play in his first game since fracturing his right fibula against the San Francisco 49ers on September the 20th, a full eight weeks ago. Uh, Reggie is confident, he's willing, he's able, he's doing everything required of him to, uh, to receive clearance from Coach Payton, and we'll have to see. The one encouraging thing, I guess, and, and I, would, I would suspect that he will play, but I thought that he would play last week against Seattle, and it didn't occur. So, But Coach Payton said that, that it's not necessary that he will go through a, a, a pregame workout tomorrow, nor will it be necessarily a game-time decision. And with Betts being down, uh, there's probably a real good chance of, that Reggie will see his first actions in two months. You know, this is... Uh, uh, when you think about the Saints playing on such a national stage as Thanksgiving, I think you know there's a lot to be said how far this franchise has come. Certainly the Super Bowl victory last, last year speaks volumes, but I think this is just another indication of the kind of respect that the, the Saints organization under Mickey Loomis and Sean Payton have garnered uh, in a relatively short period of time. Uh, they're one of three games tomorrow. They're the, mid, uh, the middle matinee, if you will, and uh, it can be seen all over the country. And for a lot of players, it's a first. Uh, for a lot of players, it's, a, it's fulfilling the childhood dream of watching Thanksgiving football while sitting around the table or playing football in the backyards with their friends. So for many, this is a dream come true. Scott Shanley uh, offered a, a, a kind of a, an interesting insight as to uh, what kind of crowd uh, everyone can expect tomorrow at this $1.15 billion stadium, the house that Jerry Jones built, which is also the site of Super Bowl 45 in February. But Scott, who has played in two of these games on Thanksgiving Day as a member of the Cowboys, says it's not quite the electric crowd that you might think. It's a midday crowd. For many, they've already eaten their Thanksgiving meal or uh, they haven't had a, a full night or day's worth of merriment yet. So it's kind of a more of a a laid-back kind of crowd, kind of a holiday traditional crowd, unlike a Monday night or Sunday night game type crowd. So that, and, and believe me, I think, uh, you know, there are thousands of Houdat fans making their way to the Big D, and you're going to see a lot of black jerseys, white jerseys, uh, representing the Houdat nation in tomorrow's crowd. A uh, crowd estimated will be in excess of 80,000 probably. So all in all, it should be a great way to spend a holiday and I'm really looking forward to my first visit to Cowboys Stadium. So for Brian Alley Walsh of NewOrleans.com, please stay tuned to our website for updates this afternoon and into tomorrow morning before the game. And of course, we will blog the game throughout. So again, Brian Alley Walsh, NewOrleans.com. Have a great and a very happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Aloha, everyone.